turning these projects quickly, it's extremely, extremely important to make sure that you are actually buying and selling in the same market. As always, I wanna share with you guys lessons learned too. I mean, the name of this channel is Real Deals, Real Numbers and Lessons Learned. And it also helps me kind of go over everything that I've learned from a project, but specifically, I wanna save you guys time and money. So three things I wanna share with you from the JP project. One, we are spending way too much on our lender fees. Spending $150,000 in interest on one project, that's a ton of money. So if I have to do another project like this, most likely I wanna go to a local bank and see if I can get an interest rate somewhere between five and 6% instead of the 10% that I got and the points, right? I wanna to try to avoid the two points. Maybe I'll pay half a point or even one, but it's gonna be a better deal if I go with a local bank because the interest can be something that we can keep as profit instead of paying it out as an expense. Lesson number one, work with a local bank on something that's high purchase price and extended timeline like this one where we spent 15 months to keep the interest down and keep that extra money as profit in your pocket. So number two, timeline. As I mentioned to you guys before, we were hoping to wrap this project in eight to 10 months and we took 15 months, right? And why is that important? A couple of things. One is in that extra five or six months, the market can shift. And if the market is shifting, meaning if it becomes slowly a buyer's market, well, there's not gonna be any appreciation. Actually, the prices might start going down and you are gonna get less money for your properties at the end, right? So turning these projects quickly, it's extremely, extremely important to make sure that you are actually buying and selling in the same market. So be careful there. The other thing is the cost. It's about $10,000 in holding costs for these two condos. That's what it costs us every month. So five extra months, that means that we have spent 50 grand more than if we sold, let's say back in, I don't know, March or something, right? February, that's a lot of money. That could have been extra profit for us. I'm not complaining. We did really well on this project, but if I'm sharing, you know, good lessons for you guys to implement is that try to have a schedule and stick to it. And the third thing I wanna share with you guys is going over budget. Unfortunately, we go over budget all the time. It's not something I'm proud of, but it's a lesson learned because if you go over budget, like in this case, we're hoping to spend 400,000 and we spent close to 500,000. Well, where is that 100,000 coming from? Because your lender is only gonna fund you on whatever agreement you had upfront. Now that you blew that budget up and you are 100,000 over budget, what do you do, right? So you gotta either have that money from your savings or something that you currently have, or you gotta go back to your hard money lender and ask for him or her to give you more money, or you're gonna go borrow from friends and family but it's extremely important that you don't get stuck in the project because you don't have that money, right? That's the worst that can happen. You went over budget, you spent more money than what you expected. One, because prices went up or two, because there were things that you just didn't plan for, but you don't wanna get stuck in the project. So you wanna have to find that money wherever you can because your goal is to get from purchase to closing as soon as possible. Get paid after you sell them, get the money back, move on to the next one. That's your goal. You don't wanna stop sit on a property that's vacant and not renovated. That's the worst that can happen. Guys, I wanna hear from you. Just, I know you got questions. I try to cover as much as possible. So go comment below. I really wanna know what questions you guys have. If you will do something like this, or if you have done it before, or anything that I didn't talk about. The goal for the channel is to share with you guys what we go through in Boston, what the thought process is, how we manage this project, the profit numbers, and most importantly, the lessons learned. So hopefully I'm inspiring you. Hopefully you guys are learning a little bit. Share, like, subscribe, comment below. Yeah, that's it for today, guys. Catch you on the next one.